Hey guys, welcome. Today's video is going to be about building my NAS Unraid server. I decided to go with Unraid because in the future if I want to do videos on Linux or want to install a fresh copy of Windows and use it in a different way, I'll be able to do that without messing with my other, like my main machine here or let's say my wife's computer. So I decided to do Unraid. I'm also thinking about in the future maybe installing a version of Windows and putting Premiere on my NAS server. That way I can do video editing from my laptop on a dedicated GPU that's on my NAS and not have to worry about taking hours to render my videos if I don't feel like doing it upstairs on my main machine. Now this video I recorded a while back, probably a little over a month ago because I wanted, I needed a place to store all of my files on, all my video files and I, my Synology NAS that I was using previously, it went out on me. So now I needed a way to store my files and I didn't want to go with the pre made one like Synology because those are very expensive and you still have to buy the drives even though my drives were still good so I copied I carried those over to my new NAS and added a lot more drives to it so I was able to build my new NAS for much cheaper than the Synology it holds much more hard drives than my Synology did my old one was a four disc Synology drive this one is uh, I don't, as many as I want and it is much more powerful as you will see from this video. So like I said it's an old video from about a month ago so the audio might be a little bit different than I use today because I used a different microphone back then and so just be aware of that but then after that I'm going to do future videos on different things you can do with Unraid, how to get the most use out of it one so a few episodes on different ways to get the most use out of your unraid server so please subscribe if you want to see that all right hold on and buckle in enjoy the show hey guys so today i'm going to build my own nas i'm going to be doing it with amd's new ryzen 3 3200 so this is going to be my first amd build i've ever done so let's get started. I have four dr red drives here, and then I have four more red drives inside of my Synology NAS right now. So I'm gonna install these four, let's get it all set up before I remove the drives from my NAS upstairs and take those drives out and use them with this as well. So it's gonna be a total of eight drives plus my SSD I'm gonna be using for my M2 drive I'll use for cash. So let's get started.
All right, so when I recorded this originally, the sound wasn't working. But what I'm basically saying is Amazon messed up and sent me a Ryzen 2700 instead of a 2200 that I was going to use in my $340 or less Amazon PC. So I put in this Ryzen 7 into this computer because it needs a dedicated GPU and it wouldn't have worked for my other video on $340 or less because dedicated GPUs are a lot more expensive. Now that I got the graphics card installed, all that's left all that's left to do is to install my SAS card with the SAS to SATA adapters or cables. So I'm just gonna put this in here. And now I can, now I have enough cables to install up to 10, up to 10. So we have four attached to my SAS card. Then I have six coming from the motherboard. Now if I can add another one of these SAS to SATA cables to my SAS card, so I could go up to theoretical total of 14 for this with this card in here. I do not have the drive room for it though, but if I ever wanted to, I could probably rig something up. But I'm gonna put these down here for now, and then I'm slowly gonna add the drives one at a time. That way I can label it with my label maker. So if one goes, if a drive goes bad, I can mark the drive so I know which drive is which. And that will be it. So next, so now we're going to install our Unraid soft operating system. Once Unraid's installed, I'll start adding the hard drives. So to download Unraid, what you're going to do is go to unraid.net and download trial. And then select whether you're downloading for Mac or Windows. Then you can select download it and then you have your creator on the bottom. So after you do that, open your Unraid flash drive creator. And then I do the stable release because I'm going to be using it for storage of my videos and I really don't want anything to happen where I end up losing everything. You select your flash drive here. I don't have one in right now, but that's where you would select it. I went to I had to go to customize you can change the name of your server here, which I did. I left it on DHCP since I don't have a static IP. And in order for it to work for me, since I am using a UEFI BIOS, I selected, I checked here for allow UEFI boot. So if you, if you forget to do that and it won't boot from the flash drive, that might be the reason why. So if it's not booting from your USB drive, come back up into Flash Creator and make sure you check that. And then just write to the flash drive. After you do that, you can put it back in, you can put it into the computer. I do recommend putting it into a USB drive on the back IO and not the front IO, just because it gets out, it's out of the way and you won't accidentally unplug it if it's in the front IO. All right, so right now I'm going through some troubleshooting. So right now I have my wife's 2070 in the server and it posts to the BIOS, which is great. But when I have the 570 in here, it does not post. So I'm going to be doing some troubleshooting and once I figure it out, I'll pass that along to you just in case anybody else has that issue. So I finally got the RX 570 to boot and getting video from it. So the RTX 2070 enabled me to go into the BIOS to fix it. So if you don't have a integrated GPU or you don't have a, just a GPU lying around, 
seems like the main issue is the NVIDIA cards. I'm gonna try, it seemed like I had the same issue when I was trying to use this cheap card. It was a $50 card I figured since I didn't have an integrated GPU, but that wouldn't boot either. So I went ahead and bought the 570. So now I'm using the Armor MX, um, MK2 Radeon 570. And that was giving me the same issues as the 220. So I put the 2070 into here and I got it, I booted into the BIOS. And then what I did, because updating the BIOS didn't help. So then what I did was I went to boot and for some reason, if you have it under other R OS, it will not boot with the five, it won't get any video with the 570. But it does work under the UEFI mode. So I'm thinking that using the Windows UEFI mode, it detects the card and then loads it under some default Windows drivers to get it to show video. So I'm sure it's still not running like it's supposed to using the actual 570 graphics is just using a default driver but let me see if i install the unraid operating system if we can set everything else up in the operating system at least i got video back so let's see where we can go from here hopefully with the windows uefi mode it lets me install the unraid server okay so now that we got it so now that we got it booting under the rx570 with the windows uefi mode Let's try restarting and seeing if we, it allows us to install the Unraid server OS. Save changes, okay. Okay, so let's install So when you log in what it's going to do is allow you to select the drives from a drop down menu right here I already have them selected because like I said, this was about a month ago that I installed my Unraid. So for the parity, what you're going to use is the biggest drives you have available. So they either have to be bigger than or equal to your storage disk drives. So that's why I have the six terabytes up here. I will be upgrading to a 12 terabyte in the future. And in that case, I'm going to have to put the 12 terabyte into the parity and then move the six terabyte down to the disk storage drive area. Now down here is the cache. For the cache drives, I am using both my M2, my 512, and my one terabyte. Um, what happens is when you move data or anything over to the Unraid server, it's gonna save it onto the cache M2 drives, and then it's gonna wait to a time that you selected to move it over to the disk drives. Mine is scheduled for like 3 a.m. when I'm probably going to be sleeping anyway, hopefully. Or if you want to move it immediately, let's say your your drives get too full, what you can do is hit the move now and it starts moving them over to the disk drives. Now with the flash drive, this is where the operating system stored to. This is the USB flash drive that you installed the operating system to. This only is used when booting the system. Other than that, it's stored into the RAM on your computer. And that is it for this. In the future, we're gonna be going over Docker settings, apps, and all this. If you have any suggestions on something you want me to go over with Unraid, let me know and I'll make a video on that as well. I just figured Unraid is a very interesting program. Um, Free NAS is good too, but that's mainly focused on storage with Unraid. Personally, it's going to work better for me because as you can tell, I have different size drives. They all might be W, uh, 
WD Reds, but like I said, you can use any drive size or you can use any type of drive in any order you want other than for the parity has to be the largest. So that's why I went with Unraid. Plus in the future I want to play around with Linux a little bit and do some other stuff without having to use my main computer for that. Well, thank you for joining me for my video. This has just been thrown together from video I took over a month ago. So I just wanted to get this video out there of me creating the Unrated server. That way I can do future videos on certain things that we could use Unraid for and get the most benefit out of it since it is a paid program. If you're just doing file safe storage, go with FreeNAS because you don't have to pay for it and it's better security. But go with Unraid if you want to do anything other than just file storage. All right, thank you for joining. Please subscribe. We're gonna have future videos on Unraid and different things you can do with it. So subscribe and like and comment if you want me to do any Unraid videos. Thank you and you guys have a great day.